and this is exactly what I thought Dakota was going to be like. Firehouse Brewery. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Uh, so we are finishing this Dakota series by showing you where and what to eat while you are in the Dakota. So a food guide. So we actually just came down from Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the town of Keystone and we're gonna go grab something to eat. Join us in uh, some amazing and delicious food. We are going to show you this trip. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got the Indian taco and this is what it looks like. It is huge. So Rob and I are going to share this and share our thoughts, but this is definitely something you should be eating when you come to the Dakotas. So it's just like a regular taco. The only difference is that instead of like a tortilla, it is this like fluffy fried dough and it's just really good and adds an extra like layer of texture and it's actually a lot more filling because the dough is just so fluffy. <laughs> So the fixing is ground beef, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, and then the dough, like I said. And then on the side, we got salsa, and then Rob obviously wanted some guac because he is obsessed with avocados. He's an avocado man. So we left Keystone, and now we are actually on our way to drive to North Dakota. So keeping it 100, keeping it real, not always do we always sit down and eat at a local restaurant sometimes you gotta just grab fast food on the go so we're in dixon north dakota finally and this is not part of our food guide but this is the reality of it which i will show you we got hardy's the reality we are tired from a four hour long drive so fast food it is for tonight and calling it a day we'll be back tomorrow with more eats that are not fast food <laughs> so have a good night everyone we'll see you tomorrow for lunch Present dreams <laughs> i don't sound creepy like you that sounded creepy a little bit have a good night everyone <laughs> and pleasant dreams <laughs> sleep tight think of me think of me when you sleep <laughs> don't forget me <laughs> no don't forget us because mm -hmm. you got to hit that subscribe button mm -hmm. however we'll see you tomorrow for lunch um for more of North Dakota Eats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peace out. <laughs> hey guys, um, so we just finished uh, doing some trails in Theodore Roosevelt National Park and went back into town to have lunch. So come and join us for lunch um, to show you some good Dakota local eats. We are at the Boots Bar and Grill and our appetizers just came out. This is the Jurassic Mac and Cheese and then we also got some buffalo, buffalo cauliflower. So we're very, very hungry and excited to eat. So all our appetizers were actually like just comfort food. The mac and cheese is absolutely delicious and the buffalo cauliflower is just so good. Again, just like really comforting. Um, and this is exactly what I thought Dakota food would be like. So we're waiting for our entree, which is the walleye, the Dakota walleye, which is actually very famous in the Dakotas. Um, so I'm very excited to try that, and that is going to kind of be the highlight of all this today for lunch. This is the Dakota walleye. Um, so it is a fish and then this dish came with like, some jasmine rice and this amazing broccoli um, 
which is strange because I'm not sure exactly where they would get their fish. We've been driving through the Great Plains and barely saw any rivers, lakes, or ponds or anything like that, but it is a Dakota specialty. So the walleye is a white fish and the way they made it, it is incredibly juicy. It's like glistening and like this juice. It is charred right in the middle, which it gives it this like blackened taste and then also seasoned well with pepper and it just all comes together and it's actually one of the best fish I've had. Um, it's, it's really surprising how good this, this is. The Dakotas, believe it or not, are known for fudge. So we stopped at the Fudge Depot. It also has ice cream if you want ice cream. And we picked up some fudge. We we're super stuffed from lunch still. So we'll eat it later, probably after one of our hikes where we need a re-energize. So stay tuned and we'll see you after the trail to try out some fudge. Now heading to South Dakota. Um, so it's time for a little snack. So we're gonna bring out the fudge. Um, so we got Rocky Road that I already took a bite. I'm so sorry guys. Like it was just looking real scrumptious. We got cookies and cream. We got this uh, caramel nut thing, but it also has like marshmallows on it. So let me show you that. Although there was caramel, it was less sticky than the cookies and cream. So boom, there we go. Um, so I already tried the Rocky Road fudge one. Um, and it is like very rich, but not like overly rich. It's just like, I don't know, it's like a nice extra chocolatey cake. Mm, and then you get the nuts. Very good. Right? You already have three bites. Oh, okay, five, so you're gonna hog it? Yeah. Really, really good. Again, the Fudge Depot um, next to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. It is time for dinner. Uh, so we are now in South Dakota and we are in Deadwood, which is like a national landmark and very Western type feel. Oh, it's really cool here, guys. Yeah, so 100% recommend coming here to eat and some drinks. And let's go to the restaurant right now to get some good local eats. Yeah, and if you go parking, just be careful if you have a big truck because it's tight. Yeah, Rob, tight. Uh, Rob hit a plastic. You always have like a parking <laughs> disaster though. So we got some Rocky Mountain oysters. I'm not a huge fan of oysters, but they're fried, so I think they're gonna be delicious with some ranch dipping sauce. Um, again, seafood, a little strange because we haven't really necessarily seen any ocean or lakes or anything like that, but it looks really good and they're ginormous. So we're gonna dig in right now. So we've had oysters before, but more so oyster strips in Boston. Um, but this is a whole oyster, so the texture is a little bit more chewy, um, but you get more bang for your buck because it's a lot more meat compared to strips. Um, and then I love ranch with this because with the fried, it's, the ranch gives it more like a tangy taste. Food just came, I got a bison burger, and then Rob got a plain BLT. Nothing to do with the Dakotas, but the bison burger <laughs> does, obviously, there's a lot of bison uh, here, so it all makes sense. So the bison burger is super juicy, um, and it just honestly tastes like a regular brown beef burger. So if you are second guessing about getting bison, um, such in like a burger form, don't hesitate. Uh, the flavor is still the same, it's still like beefy and gamey and it's really good, it's super juicy and then shout out to the fries, I know it's not necessarily like Dakota known, but they are so crispy and they are just so good and I love the little crunch. Mm -hmm. It is dark out, we just finished dinner, so we will see you tomorrow for lunch again. 
on what to eat here in the Zucotas. Delicious. <laughs> we made it to Wall Drugstore, so we're gonna go inside. We're starving, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. Starving and burn. <laughs> The way it works here, you actually like stand in line and order your food. And then they call it over and they announce it. So yeah, and then you just take a seat wherever. So it's not necessarily like um, like with a waitress and a waiter or anything like that. So it's very casual. Um, so we're waiting for a number and starving because we really pushed through everything we're gonna see in the Badlands um, and didn't take a break to eat until right now. Uh, so we're waiting. <laughs> Rob got a buffalo hot dog and I got a buffalo burger again. So She loves buffalo burgers. It's just fitting, you know, if you're gonna eat a burger, might as well just be buffalo when you're here, duh. <laughs> so got the bison burger, but this time I got onion rings and their homemade ranch sauce which is Chipotle. And then Rob got the buffalo hot dog with french fries. Looks delicious. <laughs> Rob says this hot dog is really good. And um, like, although it's like kind of an order and it's not necessarily like serve full service, it's not like cafeteria. It's actually really, really, really good. Like, I don't know why, that's what I thought. I thought, you know, when I first saw it, that it was gonna be like a cafeteria food, but it's not like that at all. It's totally worth it. Like, if you're in the Badlands, stop by here, either have breakfast, lunch, dinner, you, you will not regret it. We are just like enjoying our stuff so much. So, although we have shown a bison burger before, the reason why Wall, Wall Drugstore Cafe is in our eats is because Wall Drugstore is just so famous. So you might as well just come and stop by in their cafe. Um, and it's like an art gallery. You can't take any pictures of the paintings. The painting's really nice and it just kind of gives it this like small town vibe. We just finished eating and visiting the entire um, wall drug store, which is really fun. So after you eat, definitely recommend you seeing everything in there as you guys have saw in our Badlands wall drugstore episode but we are calling it a day because lunch is over and we're gonna head back to the hotel and probably have a very late dinner since we had a late lunch see you at dinner guys hi guys uh, so we are going to dinner we're going to a very nice steakhouse here um, so we're gonna walk inside and eat here for dinner so come on with us So it's a 20 minute wait right now, um, but the reason why we chose this was because we wanted to kind of have a nice dinner. We haven't had a nice dinner in a very long time, obviously, because we've been cooped up for so long. Um, so kind of excited to have like kind of this intimacy um, at a steakhouse. So looking forward to it. So we have chislic here, which is cube meat on a stick, kind of reminds me of a shish kebab, and they did it really nice here, and she said this was actually one of the best appetizers here. Um, so I'm really excited, it's very meaty. It is so tender, you have no idea. It is so juicy. This is literally the best meat I've ever had. Baby, this is so good. So the meat itself is juicy and it comes with this sauce. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you really don't need the sauce because the it's just so tender and so juicy. Um, but the sauce gives it a nice tangy flavor. 
so our steaks come with salad. I upgraded to the Caesar salad. Comes with bread. And then Rob has a house salad with ranch dressing, which is standard with a steak here. And a random anchovy. Sorry. And a random anchovy that I didn't want. Look at them right there. Abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently I'm obsessed with buffalo this trip. I got the buffalo ribeye medium rare with potatoes. And then Rob got a ribeye steak and some mashed potatoes. So these are our entrees. We're going to share the sides though. Um, so I got mashed potatoes and he got broccoli. Hi guys, we just finished dinner. Um, one of the top three restaurants I've ever eaten at. Um, honestly, the service was great. The food was so delicious. Honestly, would 100% recommend this place. If you come to South Dakota in Rapid City, visit this place. A thousand times recommended. Please come here. It is so good. So, so good. The food's great. The service is great. The atmosphere and the environment, the decor is great. Everything is wonderful. The wine is great. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm seriously like kind of tipsy right now. <laughs> However, have a wonderful night and we'll see you tomorrow for more food. Hey guys, heading to dinner now after such a long, exhausting day between almost running into a bison's path, um, poison ivy fiasco. <laughs> And we haven't eaten since breakfast, um, so we decided not to stop at lunch. Um, and then like just bulldozed through the day and made a random stop at Crazy Horse Memorial. So now we are going to a local brewery. 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 I don't know if brewery is, but <laughs> we're gonna go to both. Yeah, so it's the firehouse and they have brochures at our hotel, so we're gonna head there now and have, I'm gonna have some drinks and food. I'm starving. I think so. she might have something buffalo based. <laughs> he keeps saying that all I keep eating is buffalo. But I mean like Avi, if the Dakotas are known for that, I'm gonna do it. Avi. 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 God, I can't awful. stand myself Whatever sometimes. Yeah, okay, but let's head here now. So I think this is Rapid City downtown where this is located and it's actually really super cute. It's small compared to what we're used to, but it's super cute. Um, so since it's a brewery, I got a beer, which I usually don't get beer. I'm more of a wine person, but I got a beer. And this is a Wild Bill. Wild Bill Mild. <laughs> I had to check the menu. Um, and it's actually really good. Again, not a huge beer fan, but it's really good. So I think I'm gonna order this. And it was actually loved by Food Network's Rachel Ray, and I'm gonna get the medium order. So we'll see how it is. Because we are such a big fan of appetizers, we got this. This is their uh, cheesy spinach artichoke dip, and it comes with this huge fluffy bread, so we're gonna dig into that right now. Guys, it is so creamy and it's warm and like the bread is so good. I would 100 recommend this as an appetizer. Look at this, look how massive, guys. I know you can't smell it through the camera, but it smells so good. So, so, so good. Everything, like the fish is so tender and everything is so good and there's so much flavor here. It definitely does have a lot of kick to it, um, but it's just honestly so good. It, it really is, and now I know why Rachel Ray loves this. She, she knows. So it's for a good reason, so would recommend this dish if you're coming there. All right guys, so I got, boom, sausage, ribs, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, not my favorite, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm pretty excited guys, smells great. Uh, and we will uh, let you know how it uh, tastes shortly. So I just, uh, you know, 
fit into all this stuff. Really tender. Um, you know how sometimes you eat sausage and the outside of it's a little bit like harder and you gotta eat through it? Um, very tender. Ribs were tender, delicious. There were two sides to add it. A little bit more sauce for it, but everything was perfect. Mashed potatoes were perfect. Uh, definitely uh, a good, good choice. You're welcome. Whatever. <laughs> Guys. What an amazing dinner at the Firehouse Brewery. <laughs> Brewery. She drank again tonight. I did. The beer was really good. For me, it was kind of strong, which is why I'm a little like this. But awesome service, great atmosphere, great food, and great drinks. You have to go here. Okay? Promise me. Alrighty. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching our Dakota food vlog. Um, hope you have wonderful eats when you visit and ideas and enjoy all the food. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he gets the signals. All right, guys. Until next time, this ends our Dakota series. Bye. Bye. Officially kicking off this RV series. I like that one. Mm. This one's really good. Mm.